Okay, good morning. So we are here. So we are here to practice our subnetting. So here we have a class C address with address 192.168.1.0 slash 24. So we are expected to divide this address into four subnets. So let us recall that we have our formula which was discussed on our sim our 2 raised to x minus 2 equal to n where our x is our number of mask bits then we have n as the number of our host so number of host per subnet and we have 2 raised to x which means that this is the number of subnets okay so given that we have our address 192.168.1.0 we are to divide this into four subnets so which means our 2 raised to x is equal to 4 where x is equal to 2 so this is our mask bits this is our number of subnets okay so given that this is a slash 24 notation so we have 192.168.1.0 slash 24 this means that we have 192.168 that so you have 8 bits per octet this is 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 that's 32 this is 24 so we have 8 plus 8 plus 8 so we have 8 16 24 so that's 1 then you have 1 2 3 4 this is in binary 1 2 3 4 so from here we will borrow additional 2 bits for our Subnet, so we'll borrow this one and this one here. Okay, so the address now would become a slash 26. So by default, our slash 26, since this will be uh, 24 notation slash here, so we have two bits here. This becomes a slash 26 address. So from there. Okay, we'll start working on our uh, division process. So our first subnet, so first subnet, we'll make use of the address 192.168.1.0 slash 26. Okay, that's for the first subnet. So next one, we have our second subnet. Second subnet. So from there, we will need to move. So uh, let us re remind also that our slash 26 address has a default default subnet mask of 255.255.255.192 Where did I get that one? So check on your sim. It is found on the table. Okay? Table for our classless interdomain routing values or our CIDR values. So it was uh, shown. This is the slash 26 default subnet mask. So, to calculate for the number of hops, uh, generally, or the number of, of users, so we can solve this one using the formula 256 minus 192. Okay, so this is our uh, host portion. 
So we have here 4. Then we have 64. Okay. So we are expected to have on 64 values. So from the first subnet, we have our host 0. So we will add 64. So the next subnet would be at 192.168.1.64. Slash 26. Then the third subnet. Third subnet would be another plus 64 on our uh, hops. So you have 192.168.1.128 slash 26. And then the fourth subnet, which is the required subnet. Fourth subnet is our 192.168.1.192 slash 26. And this has a default subnet mask of 255.255.255.192. So that is for our subnetting using... Uh, given our subnet number all right so we previously calculated the different subnets of the network 192.168.10/24 so on, the, on this example we are asked to have uh, four subnets okay wherein we already have the different subnets using the formula 2 raised to x minus 2 equal to n now let us try another way on how to do this one. Okay. So we know that we have the given address at 192.168.1.0 slash 24. Divide this into uh, four subnets. Okay. So we know that... One full octet will have a value of 200, uh, 256. That is in four subnets. So this will have around 64 hosts. Okay. Or addresses. Okay. So we will use the equation 2 raised to x equal to the number of host or n so where 2 raised to x equal to 64 so we know that each location on our binary decimal number system has an equivalent value so what is 2 raised to x equal to 64 okay so example so you have 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 if this is our binary value so each one here says this was 2 raised to 0, 2 raised to 1, 2 raised to 2, 2 raised to 3, 2 raised to 4, 2 raised to 5, 2 raised to 6, and 2 raised to 7. So this is actually to, to recall our conversion. Okay. So this has a value 1, this is 2, this is 4, this is 8. This will have 16. This is 32. This one will have 64. And this is 128. So we know that 64 is actually 2 raised to 6. So 2 raised to 6 is equal to 64 values. Now, we know from the previous uh, equation that 2 raised to x is equal to the number of subnets. But here... Uh, we are solving this one based on n as the number of hosts per subnet. Okay, so in this equation, this, we are using the 64 as the number of hosts per subnet. So we have here 192.168.1.0 slash 24. So this is 24 bits as the mask bits. Therefore, you have a value of 
that say yeah one two three four one two three four so this is a class C address this will belong to our host addresses so what is x here so the x value here is six and the count will start on the rightmost portion of the eight bits so we'll count this is one two three four five six so those six bits will belong to our host okay, your host bits this is x as our host bits okay so kanina we made use of x as the mask bits so doon you see the subnet mask okay but let us check kung tama pa rin yung gagawin natin so this one is a slash 26 na so this is 24 tatlong octet plus dalawang bits will have a slash 26 okay so the remaining bits here will be part of our mask bits therefore if we get into the subnet mask where all numbers on the left side doon sa host will be 1 ang mangyari this will have 255 the 255.255 dot this is the bit for 1 28 this is for our 64 okay so that is 128 plus 64 we have 2 carry that is 9 and 1 so if we check on the CIDR value or the CIDR value table don't start class less interdomain routing value we have our default address for a slash 26 na value as this one this is the default IP address I mean subnet default default subnet okay, subnet mask address for a slash 26 okay so that is for slash 26 if you check kanina default subnet mask doon sa previous equation we have 255 255 dot so same lang tama same lang if we put all values okay all uh, ones to get the subnet mask so this will become 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 dot 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 that one two three four five six seven eight that one 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 this would be zero 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 this is eight plus eight plus eight that is our 24 when plus two bits that's the two bits this is our slash 26 this one will belong to our okay, these zeros here will belong to our host so this is our value okay. okay that is for the sub default subnet mask for the slash 26 so tama okay pareho lang ng value okay sige so to continue okay let's continue so we have 192.168.1.0 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So consider this portion here as our binary na values. Okay. So let us start on our first subnet. So we know na andyan siya. May slash dyan siya. Slash 26. So our first subnet. Okay. What is the first subnet given that each subnet must have a value of 64 for the number of um, addresses or available addresses for bit so starting from that the first subnet is our 
192.168.1.0/26. Okay. Next one. Second subnet. Okay. What could be the second subnet? So, first subnet will cater from this value until mag-reach ng lahat ng value dito will be 1. Okay? So, if this uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 bits will be on 1, what could be the possible value? That is around 63. Okay? If this bits here, ito, this bits will be set to 1, that would be our 63 so that 63 that will leave for that will form part for our first subnet so if this is 63 then we carry over the next value on this on this um, bit this will be raised to one uh, this will be changed to one then this will have 192.168.1 that this is our 64 so 64 slash 26 so, 64 siya. Zero ulit ito. And then, transform into 1 lahat. What could be the value? That is around 127. Okay? This is 1. Then, 1 yan lahat. That's the last value should be 127. Then, I mean, this the third octet. A third subnet, I mean. Third subnet. Okay. This will have the next value okay, our one to eight value so one nine two that one sixty eight that one that this is one twenty eight slash twenty six so this will have actually it's one ninety two that one sixty eight that one that say zero this is until until sha until one so, yan yung ating notation. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this value will have 63. The last value, ah, uh, 63. That's 127. Okay? So, ito naman, we'll have 192.168.1.0. That 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 zero, zero slash 3456.0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So, from 0, a 1 dot 0 until 1 dot all host bits equal to 1. Yun yung range na. So, this is 64. Uh, 1 dot 64. Ito siya. Itong uh, 0 is 1. Slash hanggang lahat ng bits ng host will be 1. That will be the range. So, this one will have a value of... Okay, next bit, completo na siya. So, plus 1, we'll have 192.168.1.10. We have until 1, uh, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay, what's the number? That is 191. That is 128 plus 63. Okay. Right, next, so fourth subnet, fourth subnet, so that's the number after naman doon sa last ng value niya, so that's 192.168.1.192, that one, that one, okay, what is 192, okay, this is slash 26, okay. So, what is 192? Kapag yung dalawang bits, ito siya. 192.168.1.1. Okay? So, 2 bits, slash. Okay, this is our 192 value. Okay? And then, if we range this hanggang mag-1 lahat ng ating host bits. So, that will be the range of our next subnet 
So first subnet will have 192.168.1.0 slash 26 until it reaches 192.168.1.0. That 63 Ito 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 Okay, total number is 63 So if we add all the digits Okay, in decimal value So the next subnet is 192.168.1.64 Slash 26 Ganyan siya Okay So again If all bits are 1 the range will be from that 64 until that 127. So this will be now the usable IP range. Uh, I mean the, the IP range. This is the network address. This is our broadcast address. Network address, broadcast address. In between these two, IP addresses will be our usable IP address. Okay, and then third subnet, we have that one. Then then the fourth subnet until we reach this value. Okay, so if we happen to check on our first example, okay, ayan. can you still see? Ayan. So they do have the same answer for our subnets. So which one is easier? Siguro ito, okay? Kasi we'll just count the, uh, the mask bits and then recall lang, mask bits is the bits after our slash rotation so 24 slash plus 2 becomes slash 26 yung slash 26 na bits from the left side going one lahat that would be our default subnet mask ito siya okay the default subnet mask for the slash 26 na ating value so from here we can calculate using our half count na 64 ito siya this is the half count value okay without solving for the binary values so 64 so from the first oh, uh, first subnet plus 64 plus 64 plus 64 this will be our network address okay ito siya yung range na naman after uh, one digit okay less of the preview of the next subnet is our broadcast address so minus 1 dito this is 64 then this network address will have a broadcast address of 192.168.1.63 and then in between so we have 1.1 1 .1 until 1.62 as the usable IP address range okay so ayan yung example natin alright so I hope you were able to get the different ways on how to do the solving for the given subnet. This one, okay, this one can actually be solved. Example, given yung number of users per subnet and then magkaiba yung number of users sa subnet and hindi defined kung ilang subnet na exact ano, kasi to we are basing on the subnets and then divide it directly to get the number of hosts kasi instruction niya is to divide just the network into a particular number of subnets what if it will have a different number of hosts per subnet so we can still make use of this um, equation here okay so we'll have that one as a separate example right so thank you very much for listening to this session.